Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click on like and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Now today I'm going to show you how to engrave your company name or some sort of marking on your tools. Uh, that way they don't disappear on a job site. Sometimes they disappear on purpose. A lot of times a lot of people use the same tools. Uh, a lot of the electricians and stuff I work around use the exact same drills I do. And there's a lot of times where it's hard to figure out which one's yours. It could get picked up by accident. You could pick up somebody else's by accident. So I'm using the X-Tool uh, D1 laser. This is a 10 watt laser to engrave my company name on this drill. Uh, basically I found a spot on the DeWalt drill. You can see where I'm going just above um, the word DeWalt that has a big enough space to carve my company name into. I've done this on a few other drills in the past. I figured I'd just do a video on it. You have to set the laser a little bit higher than you normally would so it actually clears the drill. As you see there, if you dropped it down to where the laser was supposed to be, you'd hit that piece of rubber and it will not clear it. So you want to make sure it clears that when it goes back and forth. So once I get that done, I'm going to go into my uh, creative space here. I'm just using the software that come with the Xtool D1. Uh, use whatever software you want to. I'm going to just do a text block. I'm going to change it to my company name or what I want to say. I'm going to change the size to fit inside of the block that I'm trying to put it in. So mine's like 1.75. I'm going to unlock it so I can do a different width and spread it out a little bit than the height. Uh, that way I can kind of control the font a little bit better versus locking it. So I did this out in the garage on my other laptop that I've got out there by my laser tool. I'm just doing this on the computer in here so you can actually see what I'm doing. Once I get to the framing point, you want to frame it like you normally do. Line up your tool. Once you get it framed where you want, you can go ahead and hit the process button so you can actually laser etch this into your tool. Make sure you do this in a ventilated place. This is plastic, rubber, who knows whatever material it's made out of. So make sure you're well ventilated. I've got mine in a cabinet vented to the outside. Also have the bay door of the garage open. Now my settings on this were 80% on the laser, 50 on the speed, and just one pass on there. And I did an engraving and not a cut or um, outline. I'm just using a little WD-40 on a paper towel just to wipe off the excess burn. And as you can see, it digs in there good. Easy to tell which one your tool is. Now on this nailer here, the Brad nailer, I'm just peeling off the label under the wall. There's enough room above it that I could fit it in there, but it would be a lot smaller. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to take a measuring tool. You can use whatever you want. You can use a little caliper like this. Um, you can just tape measure it. You can guesstimate however you want to do it. Now get rid of the sticker residue. You probably don't have to since you're burning through the plastic on this. I'm going to spray this with just a little WD-40. That'll help get the uh, residue from the uh, sticker off of there and also give me a nice clean surface that I'm working with. And I'm just taking a dry paper towel now and buffing off the rest of the oil. A little less stink in the garage. Now another thing you can do before you actually burn this into your tool is you can take a small piece of scrap wood uh, which I did here for an example. I burnt what I wanted onto it. And you can take your measurements in and actually get the measurements exactly how you want them. So I can use this little caliper, lay out that width, and lay it in there to see if it fits in my tool properly. Same with the height. That way you're not accidentally overburning or overlapping uh, any more than you have to. So same as before, I set my laser so it would not hit the rubber pieces on it. The laser's a little bit higher than it needs to be, but it still engraves perfectly fine on this plastic. And some of these rounder tools are hard to get lined up perfectly center. I'm off a little bit. It's my tool. I don't really care. It's going to a job site. Uh, but if you want to take a little more time to line it up better, uh, feel free to do that. So just for an example on this tool, I'm going to go ahead and put like a little skull logo on it just because if you've got a company logo, um, anything you want to put on there, basically, you can go online, find the picture, open a new tab, save it, um, save it in a file where you can actually find it at. Then you go back into your X-Tool or go into your X-Tool, if it's the first time doing it, go into Image, and you're going to find the file that you just saved. Hopefully you can find it and you put it somewhere you can find it at. Once you import the image, you can go over to the Image Editor on the side, and you can actually cut out the pieces that you don't want or if you want to trim up the picture a little bit. So I want to get rid of that name down below, and I just want to clear up around the skull the best I can to help me align. If I've got a big white splotch off to the left or the right, the X tool doesn't know the difference between the splotch of white and the actual skull itself. So if you line it up to print wrong, you might actually um, print off of your project 
because of that white square on the outside edge. So you want as tight of a picture as possible. After you get that done, same as you did before, take your measuring tool, figure out what size you need, go up to your editor at the top, change your size. Uh, this just happens to be like 1.75 by 1.75 square. Um, I just put it in the middle of the project so it's easier for me to view. Go into here, uh, do your alignment, and hit the go button and etch it in however you want to. Now I have the laser set the same. It's 80%, 50, and one pass. As you can see, it carves it right into the value of plastic extremely well. Uh, flip it on the other side. I got a little better, better alignment on this side. I tried a little bit harder. But again, for demonstration purposes and a tool going to a job site, uh, I'm okay with it. It still identifies it as my tool. So you can do your logo or you can do your company name or whatever you want. When you go to grab your tool or somebody else grabs your tool, you know right away whose tool that belongs to. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Please click on like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Let me know whether you think this is a good idea, bad idea, whether you like it, don't like it, if it helps you out or not.